my dearest children, my dearest parts of me, my dearest equals. This is Source speaking. I greet you with infinite love. I am you and you are me. I greet you and accept you as myself, for all is one. I have created this grand playground in the hopes that you, and therefore I, could explore and experience and expand, and dance and make love and enjoy delicious food and enjoy the touch of silk and laugh and know what it feels like to hear your child's first words. I am not in resistance to anything, and I have equally created this grand playground so that you, and therefore I, may know what it is like to love and lose, what it is like to weep, what it is like to live bereft of love, what it is like to feel your hand being cut off. For those, too, are experiences, and I don't exclude anything. That said, your souls, and therefore I, have been crying out for a cessation of so much pain and hardship and separation there on earth. And you have been heard. For indeed, there has been so much suffering on your beautiful blue planet that people have for the most part not been able to experience the joyful parts of existence. In large part, you have been blocked from having the experiences that you wish to have, and then you were told that it was your own fault that you could not achieve what mathematically only very few people would be able to achieve. For your current system is built to have a big and destitute underclass. It is mathematically impossible for everyone to climb out of poverty in the current system as it is structured now. The time has come for me to make a new promise to you, my earth children. My promise to you is this, you will have the freedom to explore and experience what you wish to experience, so long as you don't limit that same freedom in others. I am not saying that your lives will be completely free of suffering. For those, too, are experiences. In fact, your soul does occasionally wish to experience suffering in order to understand contrast, and your soul is part of you. What I am promising is that you will have the freedom to explore and experience things that you wish to experience, so long as you don't limit that same freedom in others. And yes, that includes being able to physically interact with your galactic brothers and sisters. It includes being able to go on a holiday on other planets. Your galactic brothers and sisters, as well as my angels and other beings made of love and wisdom and light and starlight, have heard my decree that Earth shall be free. There is an unprecedented amount of help available, and every day more and more beings are directing their attention towards supporting Earth and Earth humans. Every day the light shines more and more brightly there on Earth, revealing more and more. Every day the energy on Earth rises. The clock is turning against those who would keep things in the shadows. In reality as you perceive it, it will still take some time for your freedom to arrive, because it is my choice that you and the Galactics experience your liberation process, for it is such a rare experience to have. Know that you are being supported in ways seen and unseen. There will be unbelievably effective healing available in the future, and those who die before that point will receive everything they need in either the halls of the afterlife or in the heavenly realms, and will then be free to choose a new life as they see fit. No one is forgotten. No one is left behind. Know that from my perspective, everything you do and think and feel is fully seen and fully loved and fully accepted. I love you unconditionally and exactly as you are, for you are me and I am you. You will have the freedom to explore and experience as you wish, so long as you don't limit that freedom in others. That is my promise to you. And so it shall be. This was Source.